You know, if Paul and I hadn't split up around 1970, there'd be no room on the charts for Pat Stevens to take over. There's no trouble for him. He had to go away so that T for the Tiller men could arrive. He owes me a big thank you. We rockers are raised on a fundamental desire to avoid the nine to five to soar with our instruments beyond the conventional, don't get caught in rush hour, make an end run around the office world. We're rockers! There's no career without rhythm. You must know how to get the groove to groove, how to make the band swing, to just get in the door. Later comes heart and mind. Here comes my baby, here she comes now. After you make them move, make them think and feel, delight them with instrumental color, make their hearts skip with a 5-4 bar, a rhythm surprise. Cause out on the edge of darkness, there comes a peace train. A lot of passage can be a many splendor thing. Morning has broken. And a great guitar lick is a joy forever. Oh, baby, baby, it's a wild world. Father and son, peace train, morning is broken. Wild world, moon shadow, oh, very young. This guy's better than Paul Simon. that are very meaningful to most of the people in this room. He put a huge building block in the proud edifice of rock and roll. I used to go to work to his tapes. We were in Vancouver in 1972, Jack Nicholson and I shooting carnal knowledge and running lines in the back of the car to Lady Carbonville. It made us feel right. All the girls I took out were Cat Stevens fans. He was a sexy guy. Sensitivity with a bass voice. I thought of that. <laughs> Once in the late 70s, he was recording in Montreal. He invited me to come up and throw in a harmony part. Here's how he works. I write a line to his melody. Then he sings a harmony to my line and asks me to harmonize to his harmony. My final part is all he keeps against his original melody. This is an elusive cat. He played with his persona the way he played with chord changes. Musicians are, after all, players. For some people, reaching beyond vanity for a higher plane of existence is particularly difficult. They look so good. So it must have been for this bearded Hamlet. The fashion world loved him, but he turned his back on money and world acclaim. He turned his back on money and world acclaim, and he walked away from it all. He moved to Rio. Stephen, stop playing with the metaphysics and come down to dinner. Show business is a part of life, but life is life. He sought awareness as a man. What's really going on on this spinning ball in space? Well, Syria, the Congo, the Central African Republic have ongoing conflicts, killing millions. My friend Yusuf developed the sensors to hear this truth. He is tasked with, the treading, with treading the line between our Cat Stevens and his own, and his sense of his own space in the musical universe. He will no doubt humbly thank us for putting him in Rock's Hall of Fame. But will he think what does tonight mean in the common good? It is a festivity, a drinking, a clinking of glasses. We loved him in that he offered to us the fascinating creation of an evolving identity. I was watching a Cat Stevens documentary the other night. 
In each show, there's a sudden slip of the finger on a guitar fret, a little wrongism. His face lights up with intelligence. He is bemused, self-critical, wise to the truth that mistakes are often useful. They energize the performer if one embraces the moment. I have the distinct honor tonight to induct into the Rock and Roll of Fame the most sincere seeker, seeker, a loving man with an ever-expanding embrace, my friend Yusuf Islam, the artist we call Pat Stevens.